Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening, wherever you are in the cosmos. And you dodged uh, and Diplomatic Mercenary at your service. My brain was going between there of at your service and reporting for duty because I sometimes say one or the other. My brain almost said both. <laughs> Big brain moment. Yeah, and today is a weekend. Gumpla time. But I suppose this is technically counted as Gumpla. I mean, it's Gundam related. Me or in here, Rembrandt. Figure I standard to go with my Stuletta Mercury. Also stops me building two Delanzas back to back. Because we just obviously finished Yule's Delanza. And the next in the high grade line would be Lotus Delanza slash the standard, standard one. And I'm very adamant about doing them all in the miracle order. OCD must be satisfied. Yeah, our second figure rise kit. Looking forward to it. One thing that surprised me, like, just quickly, just looking through this stuff, is like, we got the stickers for the Asacassia logo, and then War Slides for it as well. But not the same transfers that Letta had, like the dry ones. So I'll probably do the Water Slide ones in a gas. Probably. That'll be a while from now. I'll leave today. I'll leave the water slides till later. For now, though, I do like they have the little gag for the water slides. I think my exposure. Why is it defaulting to that? I don't care about frame rate. Exposure. There we go. When I got a better camera for this, but now I need to get a better camera for this. One of those, like, I have the webcam now for my tracking that has a, a ring light built onto it. But when I'm using the ring light for the desk, I don't need that one on as well. Because it's also lighting up my face. Because it's really big and I don't can't point it down or else it will fall over. Right, so, where's the first part? Are we starting with the head? We're starting with the head. Same as the letter. Go, go, go. No, I'm going to fold that into there. Yes, I like the little fish. It comes over gardening tools. You know what they need to make? And this is something I can maybe foresee them doing at some point in the future. You know how Mega House makes the diorama stuff for like the high grades? I know they're doing like the, um, the container pod for the mobile suits from UH. I'm thinking maybe. What if they made a model kit, or at least something you could buy as a finished product, like Mirini's greenhouse? I think that'd be really cool. Though being in scale to these would be kind of large, I guess. These are like about one twelfth. You know, a specific scale, but I think they're one twelfth, roughly. But anyway, the face. We have the pre-printed one there. If only they could all be pre-printed. It'd be great. So what else we need? We need a runner. It will leave the other faces for later. What I think I will do, I was on the faces, is when I get round to it, like after we've pretty much finished off Mirini and then do the water slides for our markings, we'll probably get Saleta back out and do the water slides for both lots of faces. Let's do it on one go. Rather than me breaking water like slide stuff out for one tiny thing. Put them all in one go. Or at least try to. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get building. What do I need? So we've got my A runner. So the D runner and I need the A runner for the hair and stuff. Hello. Ah. One of these days I'll set up a secondary desk next to me, not the right to rent my bed to pin the parts. I'm just noticing with the flash tone, like that is for midriff, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh my. All right, let's start with, okay, let's pull the face up here. Let's 
Yeah. Face downwards. Alright, and uh, we don't need that anymore. Now, uh, I may as well just cut off all the hair parts, I guess. But to begin with, we need number 42, 38, 39. Okay, let's run 42. Oh, actually, first things first, I actually need the inside of the head. That would help. Number 32. I'll get that first. Do these bits together, then I get the hair. It feels like it's been a really long time since we built something on stream, even though it's only been just over a week. Because like, it, it was last Saturday we finished up in Lanza. And yet it feels like it's been longer than that. And I don't know why. I think it's been a long week for me in general. Even though I've been off work the past four days. Just because I ain't working doesn't mean my brain isn't working. My brain is always working and just... Yeah. Mm. Actually, the original design results in some parts with extreme sharp trip tips. You don't say. Yeah, imagine Nara Hago is going to be very sharp. Just get all the hair parts out. I think we should. Yeah, 42. Careful where to cut. Part goes like the back of the neck. Yes. Same as the letter. Go and uh, let's see, let's see. Thirty-eight. This bit here. I'm feeling like Miri's having that kind of silverish blue hair. Breast marks should not show up as much as it would put up on Slatter's hair. So it's probably a little more forgiving being a, a light color. Back of the head. Really, we're just cutting all the parts off of the hair because why not? I guess we're going back and forth. Nope. I'm taking smaller steps towards getting a larger desk. Step one is I'm clearing out the part, <laughs> the area next to my desk, so I can get a new shelf unit which will be smaller and thinner, and thus more space for a longer or large desk but yeah i'm just literally gonna go from like everything to the side of my desk and then kind of work my way around the room just to kind of make things break, break it into small paths like each objective helps the next objective so hopefully i'll get that done this week at least the first part I'm making my room more efficient in theory also, more shells means more space for gunplay. I was literally before the stream, um, well, setting everything up because I also had to move my Galanza off the table because it was sitting behind my keyboard still. I was like, oh, I need to move my keyboard, so I need to move the Galanza. <laughs> like, find the space for all my shells. I was like, okay, uh, the Nemo is now hiding behind the Freedom. Uh, the Mark II is now standing next to the, the ground type Gundam, and then. Grand Annie Gundam's barely on the shelf in front of the real great new Gundam and then I've managed to just kind of squeeze in the Delanza because it's got a really big weapon. I'll take a picture of it later. Because it has a lot of shelf breath presence. And that's that right there. I'm going to lay them out in order so I can actually put them in my head. So like face, neck. Back of neck. Sit here. And the front of the hair is there. Which, not number 35. Yeah, it was. And I need number 36 next to it. Uh, yeah, entering it today, of course, would be stable yesterday and 
recently in general. I was so annoying yesterday with like um to an expanse. It's like, yeah, I knew there's a possibility it might funk out again. So it's like I'm gonna record it on my own end. In case it does, because it's a very story driven game. Telltale. So it's like I better record it on my own end. Luckily I did, because it did. Using the internet didn't even cut off completely. It was just the upload speed tank to less than a meg. But you cannot stream on that one. <laughs> you cannot stream on less than a meg. On at 720p. That's back to normal now. I believe it was just like um my ISP were working on stuff in the area. I nice suppose I'll give you a heads up. Oh, there's number 41 there. Here you go. Our big pointy antenna. Make sure our commander type. Commander type Miri. Yeah, or her command antenna. There we go. Race yeah. three and four. Or the very large ponytail. Which, looking at it, you could perhaps build her without our ponytail. Or it was less of a ponytail, more, more just her long hair at the bottom. And then you could guess you could then that's her with our hair up, or hair, our shorter hair from the, the time skip right at the end. Of the show. I do hope they make more figurized hits of the characters. Because they're nice to have. Like, sure, I could go and buy, like, the SH figure arts figures. But they're more expensive. And I don't get to build them. Building them's part of the fun. So I do have the figure rise lackeys from Seed. So I'll probably be build her and give some point between now and like the Seed movie coming out. Maybe I'll just do that for like, I'll build two high grades, build a figure rise, build two high grades, build a figure rise. Because we did the Lefrith and the Baker Beauty. And then we built the Letta. I've done the Aerial. Was Delanza, and now we're building Mirini. I guess we do a lot of Delanza, Choo Choo's Demi Trainer, and then I guess maybe? I don't know. That ear feels rough. Day of Gumpla. And chatting. I feel like I have not prepared any topics. Because I am a little groggy. This is the weather or whatnot. I think my sinuses are just a bit bleh. Detail on the ears. That would be bad.
Well, that's the one downside of building people rather than robots. Or mechs. Is the faces. should be ready. Okay, then get the nubs off of the internal part of the head. I don't think they're like, do you which has been over for uh, a few weeks now? Yeah, it's still going strong of fandom. It's good to see. Also thinking about, um, while not easily available to read in English, like Vanitas Art and um, Play Story Manga, unveiled another Gundam. Another little fresh variant. Which, uh, I forgot the name of it. No doubt I'll get a P-Band I get at some point. Since the, the main one got a okay, K after all. I think I'm kind of happy with so far. Like, I've so far minus got every G Witch hybrid, or just G Witch kits in general. I mean, I haven't bought. Bigger, no, I haven't bought the full mechanics aerial. I'll save that for later. I'm also missing the Zawart Heavy. Okay, everything else up to the Lens of Soul, apart from the Heavy and the Zawart. Which I'm quite pleased with. I feel like G Witch has become the thing where, like, I, it's the first time I'm aiming to have everything in a line. Just for the collective purpose, because it's the first time I've watch the show as it was airing aside from like the the tv version of the origin but that was just like it's not the same this is brand new it's just this is a rebroadcast in a different edited format it's been a fun experience to see which i see the internet react to it both positively and in some cases negatively most of the negative people seem to be right. Like, okay, if you don't like it, fine. Bye bye. Keep going your way. I think it's the thing in general of any fandom or any form of media nowadays is like, if they don't like it, they have to destroy it. And it's like, or you just, you know, move on. I don't get it. Face. Miorini. Mio Mio. Mio Mio. I wonder if we'll ever get more stories with the characters. I suppose there's a novelization which has like extra tales, little side stories that maybe thought they couldn't like fit into the, the main story. Some people aren't happy about the length of the show, but having a Gundam show that's like half the length of a normal one was kind of nice in a way because it was very focused. Like, it was very much focused on what it was doing. Creating a more personal story. But the need for a massive base upper background. And it has moments 
like space of background like <laughs> with um quiet zero and giant space laser at the end light is like to my left I'm gonna turn up. Is that too bright now I don't know my webcam lights also on now actually no that's directly my eyes for that elevation ah got the ring light here to the side fine will do I need to get a light source on my right side as well but like there's no plugs in that side also there's no more desk it's like the little desk literally ends there's nowhere to actually put it currently and, you know, whoever designed this house way back, well, things in like the 70s, I think. Yes, yeah, so let's put one light in the room and let's put it towards the window. So I guess the light source throughout the entire day is always in the same direction. I guess that was the logic when they built this place. Like, oh, yes, uh, your light during the day comes through your window. So your light in the evening must be a light on the roof that's near the window. Did you not put it in the middle of the room? Right, um, this needs to go up there, Luna. Here. I'll say it's the back of the neck. Where the hair stuck. And we need this bit next. Oh no, I don't need to put this part onto that. I need to put both these parts together. Okay. And this is where things will get trickier because now we're getting uneven surfaces because of the hair. I think through it so smoothly though. I like this theme. At least for the top part, violet when they're together because they are pretty close to each other. The nubs. That's any transport, maybe. Okay, where are the nubs on the the bullet? That will go like that. Nubs are there, there. Okay, the ones on the sides of the head, and say the ones on the top, because when they go together, it'll pretty much be right side by side. And it's also me accidentally, maybe, um, making it uneven. Also, with Stiletta, she had her hairband there to break it up a bit. But Mirini does not, so I'm have to be more careful of it. So, um, don't screw it up. I want more bigger rise kits. They're nice. Give me Choo Choo. Yep. Usually like an obvious choice. Fan favorite. But also give me Guelge Attack. Because, come on, get the boy some love as well. I would definitely love a kit of like Guel and Elan. Like, it would be amazing to have the entire main cast. In figurized form. Fantastic. And considering they are. There is. Figure statues. And like other promotional materials. That are. Have Gul. Elan. And Shadi. So I mean. Why not get this model kit form as well. I'd love to see it. I'm sure many people would. I think of the kit bash. Can potential. As well. I 
So, you know, if there was like one of Elon, I would definitely want to kit bash him with the, <laughs> with the Firact if I could. It'd be funny. Everyone makes the Mecha girls. Let's make a Mecha boy. Or Google is the Lanza. Actually, didn't they do that? Um, I think it was like EGNs or some kind of artwork where they had each of the characters as their relevant mobile suit thing. Like wearing it as a costume. I had slide it with Ariel. I think Mirini had that little forklift looking thingy. You piled it at one point. Like in the third episode. And then like was it Fuel was the Lanza, Ellen was the Farak. Uh Fadik of course was the Michaelis. Juju was her demi tray. Nika was a standard demi. That's, that's, that's some cute artwork. It was. I think I retweeted it back at the time that came out. <laughs> I'll go. Side down the side. Feel smooth. I do need to get back into painting for kits because it'd be fun as well. If I do any painting for like on stream, I'd probably do one like uh brush painting. Some brush painting for stream. Because obviously trying to do airbrush on stream is a bit more difficult. Especially when it's not in this room. My airbrush set up, so. It'd be good to like build a kit on stream and then frame it with my airbrush off stream and then hand brush afterwards. But yeah, you could get hand rattle cam framers, but like I've got an airbrush to do it quicker and less expensive. Also easier. Go outside. The thing is, I feel like anyone has to like, use that rattle can primers is like you're in the UK, there's a 90% chance it'll be raining. These ones are kind of small-ish nubs. Luna just likes to talk. She's like in the hallway. She's going to work. No idea what she's doing. She's talking to herself. Itty doggo. today on my actual stream for because my head's a bit bleh. 
I guess I'll just to see how long I survive having this light in my face. <laughs> my normal, like four hours. It's very, or normally. Aim for it at least. No guarantee. Maybe I'll just feel better by just focusing on this. Okay, this will go together. And then I can get rid of the nubs on top of the head together. Fair, I could technically glue that one or two. But we can go with this, shall we? Seam laying on the top of the head is very obvious, but Bigger bet. This one's the broken half. Or um, dream and was listening to it a little bit is the full G Witch soundtrack is now on Spotify. The whole thing. I remember, I think it was left up before stream. I was listening to Mirror Rainy's theme, like on the playlist. So the playlist on well, the full, full album has all the music except for the openings and endings because I guess they're yeah, they kind of separate because it's, everything else is like one composer. And the other ones, of course, are like bands. Cool things there to listen to. I need to unpolish that now because I made the top of the head too shiny. I'm gonna make her look bald. Yeah. not that bad so it blends in at the bottom part of the hairs which is the top there where it kind of like it's obvious but I'm not gonna deal with it for now I might deal with it later well, I'm pretty sure taking these bits back apart would be difficult it's awkward shape that for now and let's slot this in let's just go that bit slots okay that goes like that Miorini. oh rolled over okay now the more difficult part because now it's going to get spiky. Pointy. Let's 
Okay, and then we'll just fit as well. Get to go together. Under gate, it's perfect. Hey, Urban Tech Bro, how you doing? Let me close, really close my face because you know they're very small and in very weird locations. Runners to see how many gates there was. Make sure I don't miss anything. Well, 
I'll leave that bit in a minute as well. Okie dokie. Sandy, sandy, sandy. The only downside for model kit building is the sanding of now. I almost wish I could turn back time to the point where I just snip off the runner and build it. It was a simpler time, but now I'm obsessed with perfection, or at least trying to get close to it. Air parts are going to be the trickiest thing on these kits. They really are. It's all part of the fun. The charm. Wait, how do you hold this thing like a human being and still be able to sand it? Um, fast. Where I caught it. I caught it with my legs. What's the name? Lily DiCaprio? Did I say that correctly? Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I like when I'm building complex, I'll just zone out. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'm streaming. Here, and this slots in like so. Ow! Pointy hair, stabbing fingers. Do I really want to go there? Yeah, wow. I guess it's a hell of a layered look, doesn't it? Make sure that's actually in far enough. I don't feel it. Push it together with this, it'll pop it in place. 
I guess. So the hair that has the details it has just goes underneath there. That's some detail to have it layered underneath. Okay then. That is surprising. Well, that's definitely the only picture where it goes. Get this part here for like the for the quest backwards, I think. Standing, but first things first, if I take a little drink. Get some water. Flavored water. Excuse me. Sorry. I have to lean past the mic for that back where it was. If I could just play the entire G Witch soundtrack right now without <laughs> getting flagged, I would. But no, it would get flagged. I'd get in trouble. Getting this low enough here can be light. Like I said, I have a nail and kind of just worry about it. Might be more efficient.
Okay, that look. Okay, I mean, not the smoothest thing in the world. I think. Be fine. Right. Uh, let's see. This part goes into here. Oh, that's really nice. Look, the groove in there already. So that goes in like this. Like that. And I got every like panel lettuce here. Look at that. Oh no, did I mess it? No, I didn't. But it does. Yeah. Miorini. For the most part. Just need the antenna and the back here. Let's get home. Antenna. Yeah, hey, go. Wait, is that a, no wait. Not a Hago. Hago something else. Wait, what is it again, the antenna piece? Oh wait, let me turn the right terminology here. Some parts like in the anime where like her hair antenna is like a ridiculously long, and it's like, yeah, yeah me or any commander type confirmed. And they're dueling, they need to kind of break the head, the head antenna. And it's funny if that was a thing when they were dueling in person, like you have to cut the person's whole gay off their head. That'd be hilarious. joint for rest of her here. Oh, for hair like this, but the back part, that's just business 
business lady. Mirini, basically. I think when I was like setting things up as well, like I had a wee idea when I was looking at like how they have like more than one marking. Like that's the Castia logo. And then of course the letter one comes with both the transfers and traditional stickers for the older yeah, logo stuff. I think it may be interesting to buy another set, another sled, another Murini, and then paint their outfits the opposite. Just let it give her standard outfit and then have Murini as an older outfit. And then just make use of their, of their and markings. I think it'll be kind of, kind of fun. Murini the holder herself. That'd be a lot of white to be wearing though, because she's already got in here. Just take their outfits as they are and then combine it with like 30 minute sisters and make your own character for Astacassia. It has to be a girl character, but hey. Options are there. Realizing that her head's just going to be sitting there until I can build the body. Maybe I should build the stand and just attach her head to the stand. I mean, that'd be funny. I was literally looking at Saleta because I had her hold the harrow in the hand, and I did have her take a picture while I was building the aerial of her holding the aerial's head. I was like, could I make Saleta hold Miorini's head? But I think the neck's a lot deeper on this, so I'm not sure it worked. It would be funny though. It would be funny. Handling, <laughs> just holding a disembodied head of her wife. This letter's right there on my dad. I could try it. So we've got the Build Metaverse coming in October, and I think some of the kits are coming out run oh, sooner than that. So that'll be fun, but what about the Gundam Seed Freedom movie? There's better be Gunpla for that. Even if it's just like maybe reissues of some other stuff in the Cosmic Era. But there's bound to be new stuff as well. I was like, okay, okay, well, what are we going to get for that? They've already given us the new versions of the Freedom, Strike Freedom. The 
Master Grid Extreme Strike Freedom for the 20th anniversary. The kit I would like to get, but I have, I've got perfect raid right freedom that I still need to build. So um yeah. I am, as Maro Tsinko would put it, a seed enjoyer. The thing I've never understood is why people don't like seed. Honestly, I think most people who like what's your mark probably would like seed. Because it has team drama. It actually has more team drama. I see Destiny gets okay, because narratively is a bit all over the place. That one's fair. Even if I do enjoy it still. I enjoy it for what it is. Criticism criticisms of Destiny? Very valid. Seed itself? Uh, I guess some of it's valid, but most of it's like, why? Again, I have nostalgia glasses, so. My first good show. I enjoy everything. Even like when it comes to like Star Wars as well, like, oh my god, this Star Wars movie is trash. Like, I still enjoyed it. <laughs> I can enjoy things without having to break it down. Well, except maybe the the Death Note live action that Netflix made. I yep. Yeah. It's the one thing maybe I decided not to enjoy. I was constantly pausing that. And going, oh god, why? The live action Cloudboy Bebop wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. Can't stand up to the original. So it's an interesting alternate version. I guess people will wait and see how the Netflix live action uh, One Piece will do. One looks like it has a bigger budget than Bebop had. Which I think was the biggest failing of Bebop. A lot of the stories got simplified, I think, to make way for a lower budget. Like one of my favorite ones of the anime is when Jet and his old cop buddy go into that um, prison ship. I'm gonna get the guy that took Jet's arm, or was responsible for it. And like they had that episode in the show, and it didn't involve the ship at all. The ship was just mentioned as, oh, that was prison ship crap. And so the rest of it just took place on the sets they already had. It's like, that's definitely a budget limit there. It was a fun episode, it just didn't hold a candle to the original one. I did like that they gave Jan, um, an ex-wife and a daughter. Like, that was a nice little sort of expanding these characters. There's some things they changed it, like, there are interesting different changes to make things different. And it changes really, like, why did you bother? Do you want a carbon copy? I don't know if you do. No. Like, um, like the Ghost in the Shell live action movie. I couldn't decide if it was going to be a carbon copy or a new story. It did, it did both at the same time. It had all the iconic scenes from the first animated film. But with a different story linking them together. It was kind of, it was kind of weird. Still, no, enjoyable. I guess we'll kind of wait and see when the Gundam eventually gets its live action movie. Not counting G Savior. Not counting G Savior. I've never actually seen G Savior, but I know its reputation. But the official Hollywood Net uh, Legendary Studios and Netflix. When it's still in pre production in hell. I'll wait and see what happens with that. That's 
plot on like two, three. There we go. And upwards. And that pops in, into that hole there. There we go. Biorini's head. Just a disembodied head right now. You could literally lie on her own hair. Miorini's arm. Miss Miorini. Okay then, uh, let's crack on with the body, I guess. I move my tools. And open this up, there we go. The body. One page for body, there's the right arm and left arm, and right leg, left leg, left the arms are simple. Quite simple limbs. But the body itself. I need the A runner and the B runner. Only look green. Alright, what do we need first? A runner stuff. This is where I wish I had more desk space. Hmm? The question mark for what did I say? Honestly, I've probably forgotten what I was talking about as well. I'm gonna go. Look at Zeta. Did I say Zeta? What about Zeta? There, anyway. Love the Zeta Gundam. Beyond that, uh, I don't remember what I was saying the other day. My brain is a sieve. a problem and like I'm just jumping from topic to topic my brain goes like wait what what was I talking about Gundam is one of the most beautiful design Gundams there is. So stylish. 
and transforms. And transforming, uh, transforming giant robot. That's an instant win. For well, the rule of cool. I just realized, like, the way my, um, you mean he's just, like, staring at the camera. It's some body head, just staring at you. Give you nightmares. Lost, lost my train of thought. What was I thinking about? Do I want more effectorized kits? Yes. That was a while ago I said that. I wish I was a faster builder because. Honestly, at the rate I am building my model kits, I probably have um, two years worth of kits to build. Possibly. I think maybe cracking at one kit a month. I could potentially build one kit a week if I had longer streams, or more than one stream. on the kit itself. Some kits you can build pretty fast and some are just like, like depending on how complicated it is. Like most high grades we've built in like one uh, three to four streams. That including paneling and stuff. And then there was the big um the real grade new gun then which took like 10 streams but that's because i panel lined everything including the frame you can't see all right how's this go together so this part is downwards and then this part goes here right I feel like it fits very well. I was going to go out there right like that. And this one may go on this side. Feels more secure than the other side. I mean, I failed that one too much. Hit the ball is possibly. Eventually. There for now, and I need number A2. Whatever you're doing for content, that is true. 
Whoa. <laughs> yeah, like if I'm streaming for content, then 1k a month seems to be what I do. Whereas if I'm just building myself off stream, I'm probably going to build one a week. But if I'm not streaming it, I'm probably not building it because I have no time. since I started streaming them. I was like, I build on stream. I stream games, I play games on stream. Like, I feel like I don't really play games as much off stream. Slows you down. Because, like, when you're not doing it on stream, you could, like, it could be, like, middle of the after evening, and then, like, I'm going to spend, like, an hour building something at random. And if you do it, like, like every day, or, like, spend an entire day building a kit, don't do anything else. Which, again, theoretically, I could do that for stream. A 12 hour gumbo stream. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe there's a break at some point for food. kid i get a brand new game like on a friday and i will have finished it by like the sunday depending on the game because i'm just like doing nothing else but playing it back when i'd rent games from blockbuster like i'd play that game solid for the entire week and take it back that game will be finished. Usually. Alright, uh, I forget which direction I went here. Uh, circles of forwards. Now, it does say to put the black parts on the, the stickers, but probably gonna use Gundam markers on that. Actually, Gundam markers. Usually just stream the Kilvart building. Yeah, I feel like I just like having chill streams where I'm like, building it's like i guess it what people determine is the cool part is subjective it's like detailing like doing weathering stuff i think that's the coolest part i haven't been doing that lately and i always like when people have youtube videos where like they edit it down where it's like this 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 and it's like a time lapse of it almost and it's like hmm what is it I appreciate those. All right, um, do I have Ah, I built the painted parts of stream. Okay, nice. I say, do I have any paper towels here? I do. Give me a second.
also has to put the microphone back on, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. getting your paints or your brushes and have to worry about cleaning the brushes afterwards. Like you need a tiny bit of detail? Okay, boom. Done. Tie into it now. That would be smarter. Interesting. Nub placement on Miorini's is different from Saletta's. Let it had a nub at the top of it. Yeah, standing sticks. Uh, what was it? Ultimate modeling standing sticks? I've had them for a while. They're a bit worse for wear. Let's get the job done. snapped in the middle and I just cut it like it was flopping around I was like no I was gonna cut it off Like this is they're small and you might drop them if they dropped it onto the desk and not anywhere else that'd be a nightmare when that happens Good. 
hopefully it fell in, in my direction so I can catch with my legs. I believe it's an A6er version. It's pretty versatile because it also has a larger end and a thinner end. Makes it really good for like really small parts. Ladder behind a ring light, that'd be smarter. It's a reminder where it goes. This is a little bit at all. Very thin bit at all as well. Thin bit at the top. And then hopefully thicker bit at the bottom. Or around. Hold it by left hand there. there. I can fix that though. It's relative ease. Right on my finger, nice. Bit of black we need. Get the job done. Put that on the paper towel for now. Oh, that's what I need. Uh, a little. Yeah, I could stand up the little extra bit. That's more difficult when, of course, you could just have a toothpick and. Uh, very precise with it. It'll just scrape off the paint. Because you only need paint on the raised part, so if I get in next to it, get off any excess. Relative ease. Good thing about when the markers against just bare plastic. There's no primer to get in the way of doing this. You can very easily take it off.
You do the difference between left and right there, because like one side you can still see the red in the end. That color side still up. It's fiddly, but hey, it's better than having like the mask and all. Quick and dirty. I need, think I need a magnifying glass. Like the ends of like. I call these bits on uniforms. The part front of it. A little gold in the suit jacket. That's what these things are called though. They come from military uniform originally.
perfect the way it is. That was fine. So I'll leave that there. I need it. Back to the build. I have new type guest. The HG Calibarn in. Ah, the only yeah, the Calibarn looks amazing. I mean, I'm in the UK, so I'll be waiting until Gundam Mad gets it. Which tends to be like two to three months after it gets released in Japan. Like I only just got the aerial rebuild. Here we go. So I'll be at least another two to three months until I get the Calibarn. Make another two. I've only built four of my high grids so far. Eh. I've got a while to go. Like, I'll get it in, like, maybe two months' time, and I won't build it till next year. <laughs> Probably, because I'm building in the order that came out, because... The OCD. I feel like I'd be further along my line if I wasn't building the real grid. Um, new Gundam when the show started. I have to wait for that. I need to build that before I started the new kit. So I kind of got bogged down a bit. I ended up collecting a bunch of high grids before. I don't know Yeah. Actually, the US gets maybe like a one off before we do it. Pretty good. B12. It's like my battleship. Uh, there it is. It'd be so nice to be in Japan when it's come out and like have it literally there when the show is, is happening. I suppose I could have think or things like Hobby Link Japan and, and shoot them by our airmail, but that'd be expensive. And that would literally be the same price, I guess. Our kit. Ah, oh, the full mechanic. Yeah, that Gundam had actually got that in like a week or so ago. I just haven't bothered with it the now because I'm like, I'm doing all the high grades for now. I'll get the full mechanics at a later date. So, you know, like, I'm not that bothered for now. Those look amazing though. I've seen a video of someone who basically built it and then gave it LEDs. And it's like, that's crazy. I can definitely foresee the aerial at some point, maybe like for its 10th anniversary, we'll get like a, a Master Grid Extreme aerial and it'll have a full on light system like the Master Grid Extreme Unicorn. It is nice. Looks like the Aaron Cobb. That's fair. Everyone's different. Like I, pref I think I just really love 144 scale. Like I've only built two master grades. My RX 78 3.0 and my Unicorn. So I do have the. 1100 no grade dynamis I built. It was my very first build. But I do have some master grade to need to build. Backlog full of hygiene because of the pan pan. Hmm. Yeah. It, you, I would have thought during having a lockdown in the UK, I might have got through more of my kits. Apparently, I didn't.
if I'd known the lockdown in the UK would have lasted so long, I would have probably attempted to build my perfect grey strike room. Because I could probably use the entire lockdown for that. What I didn't think about at the time. I started streaming during the lockdown and I was like, ah, all the time in the world, it was great. Can we go back to lockdown? I want, I want to be the stream every, every day. Oh, you got the no grade no one as well? Nice. I've actually got the master grade dynamis in my backlog now. I got caught given that at for my birthday. Yeah. Was it I think was it Christmas or my birthday? No, my birthday. Back in April. That's the thing is family members like, what what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? It's like, uh, here's my Gundam wish list. Pick something. <laughs> You got all the ones in Master Grade? Nice. I only have the Dynamis so far, but I definitely want to have the full squad. I know a lot of people are hoping that maybe the Axia gets a 2.0. Because I'll say it's an older Master Grade compared to the other Season 1 kits. But I've not built it, so I don't know how it compares. I just do people can tell the difference, apparently. Yeah, I feel like the exit 1.0 is probably fine. It's like one of those things where like people would like a 2.0, but it's not needed. I think there's other kits out there that probably acquire 2.0 more that more than that. And it's more likely we'll see, like, I think the double O itself has a master grade, right? I'm sure it must have. I suppose we'll probably need to have master grades for, like, the Cherudum. Uh, no, what's one that replies to Curious? And the Cerebi. What was Alleluia's season two one again? People just want like a better inner frame, perhaps. But you know, fair enough. I want to be consistent in quality. Though I can foresee if they do, if they did make another Axia. I would expect it to be like a Master Grade Extreme instead. Actually, the Double O Riser would probably be perfect for a Master Grade Extreme. You could have really good lighting in it, probably. Like the GN drives. Greater real great Nobel. Ooh, yeah, Nobel Gundam.
like everyone has like a wish list of kits they'd love to see and like God Gundam 2.0. Actually, yeah, the God Gundam is pretty old at this point, isn't it? Master Grace. So that's one. It... The God Gundam or Burning Gundam, depending on what you want to call it, did get its real grade not too long ago. So maybe I could see that one being a Master Grade Extreme with his extreme point being articulation. Maybe. Like have the most extreme, most expressive articulation of any master grade. That could be a selling point for MG Extreme, I think. Because they always want to have the extreme point be like something specific to that thing that's like so they, like the unicorn was its cycle frame lights. The strike freedom was the metallic frame. So I could see the Master Grid Extreme God Gundam being like a extreme sort of I feel like the, it probably wouldn't be as expansive as the other ones. Yeah, probably. It feels like something they might try to do. Even if they made it a Master Grid Extreme, or like the Extreme Point being its articulation, I feel like it'd still be a lot cheaper than the Strike Freedom or the Unicorn. Because at the end of the day, it's not that extreme of a point. You know, apparently the real grade is fantastic, so just scale that up. Actually, they could literally just do that. Just scale it up. You love seed, but not going to get the next. Yeah, I mean... Technically, still cheaper than the perfect grade straight freedom I currently have. So, and I haven't even built that yet. But this is how bad it is, right? I got my master grade, sorry, the master grade, my perfect grade strike freedom, at a convention in 2018. My sister was supposed to talk me out of buying it. She did not. I've just been too intimidated to, um, to build it. That in space. Lack of space. Because that would take up a whole shelf by itself. So I would love to get the um, Master Grade 2.0 of the Freedom. Yeah, that is totally fair. I feel like, if of all the things in my backlog, that's the only thing where I'm like, I might have regretted buying it because I've not even built it. I suppose though, it has increased in value since I bought it, so I could sell it for more <laughs> if I wanted to. If I really wanted to, I could sell it and get more money for it. It's at least 50 quid more expensive than it used to be. I'm pretty sure I got it for 200. It's now like 250 in value. So I can sell it. Not oh, gonna. But I could. Some of these nubs are not so nice. I think that's why I like stick with like high grades. Because they're cheap. Like I can get actually think about it. All the G Witch high grades, I'm pretty sure they're combined price. Would be like two perfect grades. But that's over a longer period of time.
but once I get more shells, I can get more space for Gumpa. I can mention this at the very start of the stream. Like, I'm, like, slowly kind of, kind of redoing my entire room. Like, one, like, section at a time. Step one, remove old plus the TV and TV stand. Step two, replace it with shelving unit. And then move things around the room. And get rid of old couch bed. Or get more shelves. Replace desk with bigger desk. Because <laughs> I actually have more space. This, this camera has to be zoomed in. And that little that little space. I think the zoom camera zoomed in like 20%, something like that. It's probably why it doesn't focus very well. You try to get only MGs. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, a high G, G gun them jumped in my hand at <laughs> a local hobby store. Oh my god, how did that happen? I mean, that, that that thing's about the size of a master grade, really, so, you know, let's know. And the G gun a beefy boy. One high grade that's big that I've always wanted but never got around to getting. The Cycle Gundam. I mean, that thing's huge. I just thought of a thing. Right, so the Cycle Gundam exists as a high grade. The Cycle Gundam Mark II currently doesn't. I don't think it is. But I believe in the Build Metaverse is coming out later this year. There was like the big bad thing teeth in the background which looks like an offshoot of the mark like we're gonna mark too so maybe they'll have built a standard one as well i tried to put it down but it was too late it's already in the bag oh no that that that's what happened to me with the perfect grid thunderbolts and hg HG Thunderbolts, like, yeah, they have a lot of accessories on it. So many shields. Hmm. Stickers, yeah. I think that's why I got Gundam markers, because, like, stickers are okay, but Gundam markers are great. If you don't intend to fully paint it. If you're gonna do a full paint job, then stickers get thrown to the side. Otherwise, like and the markers just for those missing bits of color. Of course, depending on the kit, there might not be a marker for the right color. Like your standard Gundam colors at least are there. Like Ariel has mostly the standard colors. Unfortunately, it's blue is lighter than the traditional Gundam blue. You can't use the blue marker for the, the one bit on one of the shield funnels. Though I suppose the aerial rebuild blue is darker, so it's kind of closer to the classic Gundam. It might work for that.
painter with air. Ah, airbrush. Yeah, I've got an airbrush, but I've only ever finished painting one kit so far. It's just like, I literally have to set up on the dinner table. And it's like, that's not practical to have all the time. Yeah, eye stickers and HDs are still nice. Because they're still reflective. It's always interesting, funny when like you have like HD, you'll have like the metallic stickers put behind the eyes and then the clear is so dark anyway that it's just, it doesn't really shine through. Like some clear eyes work better than others, I find. When they're just painting or using a sticker on top of the eye, it works better. It's hit and miss. But no, I'd like to paint more often, but it is kind of a base issue currently. But I have a plan in my head. I write down the plan for rearranging things. Yeah, painting adds an extra layer of life. Okay, so always good to see. There we go. Over back in place. There we go. I mean, like the the black on the shoulder bits is a little bit shinier. It's a different black, but it works. Uh, uh, the Astacassia logo on the front. Oh, good job. Get it. And B13. Here. Grade Mark II here looking at it for a crazy punch job. You got the HD and the MG. Ah, so you want to can't decide if you want to either do a classic paint job or something custom. Hmm. That's the thing, like, um, got out high grade Zeta Gundam. I was partially painted so far. And I used thin primer on the white parts so I could see it better. And then in doing so, I've looked and go, I kind of want a desert colored Zeta Gundam now. But I've already painted like the other part, uh, like the blue bit's blue. Funny how your mind can like change after you do one thing and go, hmm, I can like this. Like the gray primer I have is like such a light gray, it's hard to see on white. I thought I'd use the sand one because it's like, yeah, you know, it's a slightly different color. And then the white going back over it shouldn't be have an issue because it's. It may just make the white more of a warm, creamy white, I guess.
I've been wanting like paint like the, all the Zeragundum crew or like team. Like they all kind of sit, fit together because I have a Agri Hyakushiki, which I'm planning to paint gold because obviously it'll look, look better than the gold plastic. I thought I'd paint some of the other ones as well. I haven't painted the Hyakushiki yet though. I haven't even built the Hyakushiki. This is still sitting there in the box. Who can, who can say no to a golden mobile suit, right? I think Zeta Gundam has some of my favorite designs in general. Mark II, the Zeta, the Yakushiki. And I suppose then Double Zeta comes along, like, hey, could make the Zeta Gundam, but make them beefy. The Dynasty Warriors Gundam games definitely have a some of the impact of why I love Zeta so much. I feel like the Zeta Gundam levels were always my favorite ones. It was like a snapshot of the story, but it's the most fun because there's like there's so many characters trying to kill each other. Titans like AU, Titans, Axis. All fighting all the grips. All the final grips to his laser. This is RG Zeta. Ah, nice. And I've got my HG, which I'm painting, and I've got the Master Grade waiting to be built as well. The 2.0. The Veracar one, I'm un I'm unsure about. It does look really good. It looks like it's really well designed. I feel like I prefer the proportions of the MG 2.0 of the Zeta. Like the the very car, the wings just feel too small to me. Oh, you broke your HG? Ow, damn. <laughs> Try not to break the RG then. I've heard the RG is a bit of a hand cannon. Or oh, hand grenade. RGs. As long as you're gentle with it, apparently it's fine. I mean, I've only, when it comes to RGs, I've built, I'll see the, the new Gundam, which is down the stream. That's going to say a newer one, so it's a lot more sturdy. And then I've built, I'll see the Grand Daddy RX-78, which is fine. And the second kit I built ever was the RG you know, Strike. And again, that's the only thing it broke on that was the little tab on the rifle going to the hand that I broke that because I put it in backwards and then tried to take it back out again and then snap. Really? I thought it was fine. See, they're the only two early ones I built and I think they're fine. Floppy? Re really? Manga aren't floppy. Manga are fine. That's why I find so weird. Am I just lucky and I got ones that were fine? <laughs> Uh, decal with no panels. As in just the stickers. I 
there were older builds. I mean, my L strike is literally sitting on my shelf with the extra weapons that came with it. RG Sky Grasper. Kind of basically made a makeshift perfect strike. It was holding the sword in one hand and the launcher in the other. And they're also not attached to the backpack. Like these, well, the launcher also should be attached to the backpack. But it's not on this because it's a makeshift. And it's holding it fine. Which I'm surprised at because everyone says they're so like floppy. I got lucky, I guess. I suppose I stick them in one pose and then never touch them again. Just against the wall? I don't know. That might just be on an action base for years. And it seems to be fine. I guess it's maybe just a quality control. Oh no, no, this backpack will be back heavy, it'll fall over. And anything with a backpack needs an action base. Unless it has massive feet to hold it steady. Then you have to kind of tilt it forward. Yeah, I heard the pre-mold frames. They also get looser over time. Really cool engineering. Just maybe too ahead of its time. And it packed down no standing. Oh, okay. Some are better than others, I guess. Yeah, any... any Anyone that could stand up right with his backpack is impressive. I feel like it always depends on the pose, because like don't master your strike, he'll strike. I put three packs when he's been wow, really? So the master grade's more sturdy, nice. Good to know, because I've got it in my back back log to build still. I could use the, the sticker of the Astacastia logo now, but nah, I'm gonna wait and do the war slay later. Later date. Hmm. 
that's together very nicely. better than like the stiletto with the gold parts which I even went over a gold marker because gold plastic always looks a bit meh all right uh we need the neck I think of neck I'm just getting stiff water is it water Excuse me. Wow, is it nearly half three already? Wow. Where does time go? They are really nice. Metallic markers in general are nice. Oh, 